here we have a, a very overexposed uh, image. And what I'm going to do is attempt to resuscitate and enhance this image to bring it back somewhat uh, to an acceptable level. And the uh, first thing I need to do in this technique is create a duplicate layer of the background. Holding down the control key and hitting the letter J on my keyboard, I make a duplicate copy. Now, one of the things in this image that I don't like is this um, is this blown highlighted area. I see there's a blown highlighted area here, here, and here. Well, I'm going to show you a technique, and we'll adjust this issue with the uh, using the quick mask mode. And what I'm going to do is I need to go into Quick Mask by hitting the letter Q on the keyboard, and that'll bring me into Quick Mask. Next, I'll select the brush, uh, and uh, the area I need. I, I'm only going to work on one area t today in this tutorial, and that'll be this area right in here. I just want to basically bring back some of the areas uh, <coughs> that was uh, blown out with the uh, overexposure. So to get out of the quick mask mode, I hit the letter Q again, and that will make a selection around the area. And holding down the control and shift key, I'll invert that selection by hitting the letter I. So holding down control, shift, I, that inverts the selection. Now I'll go into one of my selecting tools up here. And it doesn't matter which one. I could use the elliptical marquee tool, or I could use the um, or the, uh, the lasso tool. It doesn't, as long as it's a selection tool. Now, now I can move this selection to an area that I'd like to copy. So I'll... This area right around here at the edge of this rack looks pretty good. So what I want to do is drag and duplicate this copy, uh, this selection, over to the area that's blown out. So I'll hold down my Control key and Alt key together, and now I'll drag this selection over to this area right here. And just move it into a spot where it looks acceptable, and this looks acceptable right there. And now I'll deselect by using Control D, and that'll deselect it. All right. Now you can do the same thing in this area here and this area here, uh, but but for the sake of time, I'll just move on uh, with the next part of this tutorial. And <clears throat> next thing we can do is. Change the blending mode from normal to multiply, and you'll see now that that begins to uh, enhance the picture and bring out some of the color. And if we just do that again, holding down Control J, that brings it up even more so. But it also presents some more problems. Uh, if you look at this area here now, the shadows are a little bit too dark. But not to worry, because what we'll do is we'll create a layer mask. And you know what a layer mask does. It masks the, the top layer from shining down onto the bottom layer. So if we look at, I'll, I'll hide this middle layer just for a second here. So if we look at the shadow areas, we want to bring back some of those uh, uh, details. So what I'll need to do is go into the quick mask mode here. Um, excuse me, not the quick mask, the mask uh, uh, that I just created. And using a, a brush, I'm going to bring down the opacity to around 50%. That's a good start. And I'm going to select the brush right about this size right here. And I'll begin to paint back in some of the details that I lost when I 
switch to the multiply mode. I could even bring back some of the tree bark here. I think I have to reduce the opacity just slightly though. And that's good right there. So, it's a very quick lesson, and I, I really didn't go into, there's, there's lots of other stuff we can do, but I just wanted to show you this one technique. And so, this is, before we performed the photoshaptic uh, surgery, the patient came in looking like this, and the patient goes out looking like that. Not too bad. Thank you.